To set the start, due, or end dates on modules or topics, begin by clicking the module in the table of contents. You can set date restrictions on an entire module by clicking Add Dates and Restrictions under the title of the module, or to single topics by clicking its context menu, and then Edit Properties in Place. For this example, we're going to set date restrictions on an entire module. So I will click to select it from the table of contents. And then click Add Dates and Restrictions under the title of the module. Click Add a Start Date to enter the start date. In this case, I'm going to make that start date after today. And then click Update. That date will be indicated under the title of the module and also in the table of contents. From the student's perspective, when they come into this course now, they will see that there's a module with a starting date, but they won't be able to click on any of the items contained in that module. Back from the faculty's perspective, if I decide that I no longer would like that restriction, I simply click on it and then click X next to it. I can also add a due date. From the student's perspective, the due date will be indicated under the title of the module. And students will be able to access those items even after the due date passes. Back to the faculty perspective, to remove that restriction, simply click it and then the X. With the ending date, this indicates when students will no longer be able to even access an item within that module any longer. Notice from the student's perspective, they can see the module, they see the notation of its ending date, but they can no longer click on or access any of the items contained in that module from the table of contents. This is also noted in the calendar.